In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to install a custom font. Bubble comes preloaded with Google Web Fonts, which on its own gives you thousands of font styles to choose from. However, every now and then, you'll want to install a custom font of your own, and it's really easy to do. First, make a blank page or some extra room in your app to add a file uploader element. We'll also add a text element alongside it. We'll insert dynamic data into this text element, getting the file uploader's values URL, which will display the URL of the file we upload. Next, we'll navigate to the custom font we want to install. In this case, we have a font from a free website that we can use. We'll download this font and come back to our editor, where we'll preview the page and upload it directly into the file uploader. Once it's uploaded to our app, our text element will have its new URL for us to use. Before we do, we'll navigate back to our font site and copy the CSS we need. If your site doesn't provide the CSS, you can copy it from this screen. With it copied, we'll open up a coding editor and paste it in. You can use any coding editor that supports CSS. Note that the CSS has two properties, one for the font family and one for the URL. Keep an eye on the font family name as this is what needs to match in our settings later. The only thing to change here is the URL, since it's still pointing to the font website. We'll delete this and navigate back to our application, where we'll copy the font file URL we uploaded before. Back in our coding editor, we'll paste it in between these apostrophes. Finally, we'll adjust this URL to include HTTPS with a colon, so we have no issues when uploading this file to our app. Make sure to save this as a .css file, and then navigate back to our application where we'll upload it. Once it's uploaded, we'll copy its URL and navigate to the Settings tab of our app's editor. All the way at the bottom, there will be an area for custom fonts, which is where we'll paste in our CSS file. Before we hit Add Font, be sure to give it the same font name from its font family. Now watch as our font will appear right above us. If your font is not displaying correctly here, then something went wrong. And if you wanted to add different weights to this font, like medium or bold, you follow the same process for each one. As a note, both our font file and our font CSS file are now uploaded to our file manager, so make sure you don't delete them. With our font now installed, we'll add a text element to the page and change its style to use our custom font. That's it for this tutorial. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io academy.